I've been out of football a long time. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Everything, you can Everything. do it on these yeah. little yeah. laptops. Is that Crazy. a laptop? It's a cell phone. See that? <laughs> but I didn't have that either back in my day. But, but my didn't... kids do now. You didn't even have sacks as a statistic back then. You didn't, sacks weren't even a statistic back in your day. No, because I got a few of them. <laughs> but then again, there you go. Are we just going to rap and talk? <laughs> so how, how excited are you? How, how excited were you to, to get the call that you were being added to the... I think I cried. You did? Yeah. yeah. Why did it mean I mean, much? I have been down to Ford Field quite often, a lot of years for the homecoming. And to be out on the field and to look at all the names and never saw mine. And I wish mine was up there. And now it's happening. Now I bet I don't get invited back again. <laughs> but I'm excited, very much so. But more than that, I'm excited about downtown Detroit. I can't believe they're building and I got lost. <laughs> and I've never gotten lost in downtown Detroit. But I'm happy for the city, I'm happy for the fans. I'm happy for the Lions, and I'm glad I was a part of it. And I still am now. Is it special to go in, uh, to go on this Ring of Honor with Alex Karras? It's always special to go on with the groups that you played with and your teammates. And Alex and I spent a lot of years together, and I learned a lot from him and like, likewise from me. And it's just too bad that he's not physically here, but in, in spirit, he's all over the place. Why do you think it uh, took so long, I guess? I mean, if that was one of the reasons why you'd always look up and see, see the names and everything. Do you ever think it was going to happen? And, and why do you think it didn't? For so well, I have always felt the main thing is stay vertical. Keep alive. It'll happen. <laughs> and the thing that I'm waiting for now is Canton, Ohio, the National Football League Hall of Fame. One of the original fearsome foursome should be in that hall. Alex or me or Darius or Sam, and I hope I can make it. I guarantee I'm going to stay vertical until they call me and say, <laughs> Come on in, and I'll be ready. What, what do you think realistically those chances are? What do you think realistically those chances are of that happening? That I might make Canton? Yeah. One out of a hundred. And I mean, that's a gap. I was going to say 500. But you never know what's going on with, with a, I never expected this. So you never know what will happen. And with your help, it could happen. Do you think getting in the pride of the Lions will help uh, Canton kind of recognize I that you think it help? could. I think, it, I think it's going to be a step towards that. Yeah. I'm right now in more than eight Hall of Fames right. scattered around. But that one I would love to make. Yeah. I would. My life would be complete then, as long as I'm still on the upside of the dirt. For those of us who didn't see you play, what was, what was your trademark? What, what were you known for? I started what they call a head slap. And for a big 320-pound guy, not too many people could run faster than me. And I caught a lot of halfbacks, a lot of quarterbacks, got past a lot of people. So I guess what I was known for was just being a fair teammate, pretty tough damn player when you got in front of me. And there you go. Roger, you said you, you cried, you shed a few tears when you got the call. I heard you say out there you were at your restaurant when you got the call. Is that when you cried? Can you just explain that, describe that moment when you, uh, what brought you to tears? That, you know, oh, you want to see tears again? <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my video camera out. <laughs>
Well, I was just excited because I knew right away when I got it, I wanted to make sure this is not a, a, a funny call here. Is it legit? And knowing what he was talking about, I knew what I had wanted and hoped for all these years. And I was just excited. I was overcome with emotion. As you said in the restaurant. Big men can cry. Yeah. I just wanted to describe the setting. You were in the restaurant when you got the call, and that's when you were right after you hung up, or how quickly did the tears come? Well, they're doing. During, yeah. Because he, Bill heard them, and he could tell that it was coming out. Yeah. I was excited. Who made the call? Rod Wood. Rod, Wood. Rod Thank you. yeah. Well, congratulations. It's a well-deserved honor. Thank you. What stand out? What do you think about Alex and his playing days? What was the things that the younger fans that didn't see him play? What were the things that stood out about him as a player? I think Alex was kind of a leader. Uh, Alex was his own person. And you all remember Linda L.A.C. And Alex was just a good ball player. He even had a rough go on his brother who played for the Bears at the same time. In fact, Alex beat up on him a couple of times and he said, Alex is your brother. <laughs> so he said, I don't care. <laughs> so he was a great, great teammate. I learned a lot from him and he was a great person to have on your team. And if you had to go in a street fight, you'd be a good boy to have with you. <laughs> we only know him from TV. Yeah. Or people my age only know him from TV. Oh, he was, he was a great guy. Mm -hmm. And I can say I played next to him for a lot of years. Congratulations. Thank you, Roger. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.